Welcome to another edition of the Gold Nose Podcast. I am your host, Gregory McCoy. This podcast is by a fan for fans. I am not a journalist. I am not a reporter. I am not an insider. I do not work for a website. The majority of my content comes from me, in my opinion. Other information comes from the internet. No segments for this episode, just more Florida State and college football stuff. Um, Just, you know, I read stuff on the internet about college football and things of that nature, transfer portal, transfer portal, NIL, and, you know, other things. But, you know, I ran across an article. I'm not going to say any specific names, but it just basically said that there need to be guardrails around the transfer transfer portal. I don't know why I have such a hard time saying that. Um, I disagree. I think in life, if you want to change your situation, whether it be a relationship uh, a job, financial, whatever you can ins- you can change it overnight. That's that's the one of the benefits of just being a human being. Why why if a kid is not happy at a university, why does he have to go? You know why why does he have to stick with it? He he, he can do whatever he wants. If he wants to go somewhere where he can potentially get on the field and make money and take care of himself or his family or whatever, he should be allowed to do that. I just, some of these analysts and, you know, people that just don't have a clue about what some of these recruits and players go through, you know, it it just amazes me, amazes me some of the stuff that I read about and just, you know, watch on YouTube. Uh, I'm always for the player, man. Whatever's going to put the player in a better position in life, whether it's transferring to another school to possibly get on the field earlier, whether it's name, image, and likeness to make money to to take care of himself or his family, I'm always going to be for the player, man, because the NCAA and these universities make so much money from TV deals, you know, stadium uh, attendance, you know, concessions, parking, you know, apparel. They make so much money. Okay. And that's that's just off the actual football stuff. We ain't even going to talk about private donations and, and corporate sponsorships and all that stuff. So these, these it's, this is, it's just... It just amazes me how when the players start to get a little piece, a little piece of the pie, you want to implement all these rules, man. You got to stop this crap. Because I I just, it it doesn't make sense to me. Being, like I said before on previous shows, being compensated for your talents and your services is the American way. That's capitalism at its finest. Okay. Everybody should be compensated for what they do. Legally compensated for what they do. And um you know, I just don't get it. Um uh Alabama had a couple of players going to the portal uh several days ago. Um I like this offensive tackle. Um uh, Six seven, three hundred pounds. You know, Florida State should look at him. I've never seen the guy play, but I like his size. I mean, the more quality offense he's coming from Alabama, so he's got to. He's a four former four star recruit. He's got to be able to do something right. And we we are a work in progress on the offensive line. I'm not gonna say we suck anymore, but we are a work in progress. And uh, this guy, I forget his name. His last name is Brown, I think. He he could potentially come in and start for us. Okay? Um, not sold on Robert Scott. Definitely not sold on Darius Washington at tackle. I've been going on and on about Darius Washington moving into the interior. So, um, you know, I'm not going to beat, beat y'all over the head with that anymore any longer. I'm going to just say it from time to time, but I think that's just a move that needs to happen if you're going to solidify the interior. Um, recently rewatched the Notre Dame game. 
I mean, out of all the games last season, that was the game that I had the most optimism. And uh, the offensive line got ran through that game. Let's talk about the college football playoff. It's a joke. The college football playoff is a joke. Every year, the SEC gets in. You know, I just want to see them open it up, man. I think every conference should be represented. I think you should go to 12 teams and just leave it alone. I think they're going to expand. It's just too much money on the table for them not to expand. Um, I would like for each conference to be represented, you know, and then you have two at-large bids. And that could go to a Georgia or whoever. But I just want to take the voting element out of it. I just want a champion to be decided on the field. I don't want an election process. I mean, Georgia, congrats to them. They played within the system that they were dealt. And they won They won two games. So, you know, I, I'm not a hater. I don't hate Georgia. I don't hate Alabama. I just, I just hate the SEC bias, and there is an SEC bias. Um, so I said a couple of e- episodes ago, you know, Lincoln Riley going to USC is a great thing. Crystal Ball going to Miami is a great thing because now you have strong coaches at those recruiting fertile areas, and hopefully they can build those programs back up to where, hey, you can see them compete with the the um the the SEC and that's all it is now it's just you know i think if they could put four SEC teams in there they would i really think they would put four of them in there if they could get away with it um but if i mean obviously they, I've read that that's one of the lowest rated championship games. People are tired of seeing the SEC every year. And I, I know the Southeast is like the main driving force behind college football. But, you know, I, I just want to see a, a real playoff. I mean, you, you can't get to the Super Bowl if you don't win the AFC or the NFC. So how can you get to the national championship without winning your conference? That's that's the only question I have. So um that's why that's why I just laugh at the hypocrisy that some of these people come across with when it comes to athletes getting paid and athletes being able to you know have a a, a say in their destination or where they want to play college football. You know, um, so, you know, even if Florida State was in it, I would say the same thing. So, um, you know, hopefully, you know, this thing can get expanded, but I don't think they're going to, I don't think they're going to set it up so every conference can be represented. I think they'll set it up to take the 12 teams that they want in there. So, You'll probably have about four SEC teams in there. Hey, it wouldn't be surprised if they put the whole damn SEC in there, including Vanderbilt. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, man. Alabama is already preseason number one. You know, I think they virtually got their whole team returning. So, but congrats to Georgia. No bitterness towards Georgia. They went out. They won the games that they had to win to to be the champs. So, all you can do is tip your hat. Um, Florida State, I I think the defense is going to be pretty good. Um, On defense, I really... I don't know. I obviously I've been calling the man Jared Curse. So please excuse me. It's, it's Jared Verse with a V as in Victor. And uh, like I said, I've I've watched some highlights on him, but I don't really know nothing about this guy, man. We we don't know if coming to major college football is he gonna be overwhelmed. We gotta we just gotta wait and see. 
Um, and But I'm just glad to hear some of these guys that, you know, do content for Florida State football. They actually, you know, not trying to hold him to a Jermaine Johnson standard because I just think that's impossible. Like, you know, we got lucky with him. And, I, you know, I don't know if I said this on a previous podcast or whatever. For every Jermaine Johnson, you you probably going to get 10 parchments. So that's that's just how I feel about the transfer portal. You can't build a team off the transfer portal. Okay, it's not sustainable. So you Florida State got lucky and won the lottery with Jermaine Johnson. It's you know Jared Verse might not be that guy. Or then again he might he might he might surpass Jermaine Johnson. But the surefire way and recruiting is not a end all be all either. I mean you just you gotta do your due diligence and just hope that with the players that you are picking, you hit on them. And um you know that's it. Um I think I think Travis, Jordan Travis, is not still not getting enough respect, man. When when he when that offensive line actually gave him time to throw, he made money throws. And it just it just baffles me when I hear people say, Well, you know what you're gonna get in Jordan Travis. You cannot properly evaluate Jordan Travis with the offensive line that he had. How how can you logically evaluate him? Because I guarantee you, if you put Jordan Travis on the Georgia offense, if you put Jordan Travis in the Alabama offense, he would be a Heisman candidate. Uber athletic, okay? You know, cannon for an arm. And he just needs to be surrounded with playmakers like any quarterback. There's there's no quarterback, maybe Tom Brady. Maybe Tom Brady that that did it all with really no playmakers in his career. So um is is if they can solidify that offensive line this upcoming season, I think you're going to see George Travis take the next step. But I I would I would like to see these other people that do Florida State football content actually you know give jordan travis a break I, I, his offensive line is not that great it wasn't that great last season i think with some of the additions they made through the portal and recruiting that it's going to be better um but you know that's really the key to the team to me and special teams I mean the 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 onside kicking and the punt returns that's got to improve. I think special teams on all the other units was was okay. But punt return and onside kicking we we need work. Getting a Trey Benson is tremendous. He's the big running back that we've needed that can run between the tackles. 6'1", over 200 pounds. Um, The question for me, again, is who's going to be blocking for him? Um, That's the most important part. Um, You know, the wide receivers, quarterbacks, offensive skill players in general get all the praise, but it all comes down to those five to ten guys um, that do the blocking. And, uh, you know, if we can't get the best guys on the field, it's really a moot point. Um, you know, I can't, I hate to keep beating a dead horse, but, you know, if we don't move Darius Washington down the guard I, and, and find two capable tackles, you know, I, I just seven and five, man. Um, you know, anybody that plays for Florida State, I'm instantly going to pull for them. 
But if they're not playing good, I'm going to keep it real, too. So, um, you know, the offensive line improved last year, but we got a long way to go. And um, But kudos to the coaching staff for getting in the portal and getting um, some guys that can come in and compete at this, some skill positions. Um, I just wish that we could have gotten a, um, you know, a tackle, you know, a power five tackle that could come in and compete and push these other guys. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens, man. Um, again, just, just the upgrades at receiver was tremendous, um, you know, we, we missed on some prospects in the early signing period. Nobody, as far as I can see, the coaching staff really didn't get down. They just went out and, and grinded, and they got players. So um, I'm saying 7-5 and five next season. I think, I think he has to have – he has to be over 500. I don't think 6-6 six and six is even acceptable at this point. Can't wait for this next season to start. You know, as always, I want my nose to go undefeated, get into the playoff and win the national championship. So we'll see what happens. Um, as always, go nose. Thank you for listening. We're available everywhere as far as podcasts go. Um, we're available on YouTube. Um, just cross the 5,000 subscriber mark. Um, thank you. Thank you. For um, all the people that listen, I really do appreciate it. Um, thank you for your support. And as always, go Knowles.